We are on location on the street somewhere in Canada. You and I were walking in the back streets here looking for food and we ran into these two guys, I right? I know, right? So, I'm like, what the? <laughs> Cyrus, Don and Donna, Sunnyvale, Trailer Park, right? That's where we've seen you guys before because I said, I know Louis these McKinnis, guys, right? Rob, I Rob Michelle. Thank you. Bernard, sorry. That's okay. Yes. I'm, I'm horrible. I haven't called man. worse. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, that was quite the trip, right? You were there from the start. Yes. You came in in what season? Season eight. As two people? Yes, Don Donna. Why did that happen? Like, what is the premise of that? It was, a uh, the character itself has a split personality disorder. That's how it was developed. Uh, and they picked you. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean you have a split personality disorder? No. No, no, I don't actually. <laughs> Now you've got to be. Those were characters I was developing before uh, season eight, and I pitched it to them, the idea, and they liked it and wrote it in. Nice. Now you were just the evil guy in the show. I, every time I saw you, you had a gun. You're gonna <laughs> like kill somebody. The guys are in in prison. You steal their place. Like. And do you still feel like that? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, that was, you know, that was a great character to play. You yeah. know, as a, you know, tribute to Mike Clattenburg's genius and his writing, you know, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun to play. If you had to do it again, would you? Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> if the price was right. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's right. Now you're here tonight in St. Catharines for a show. Yes, it's called the Trippin' Balls Tour. And it's right. kind of my breakaway show from the Trailer Park Boys franchise. And uh, I'm just going to be telling stories about the documentary, Tripping with Lee. And uh, we have a couple great bands with us. And yeah. of course, Mr. Bernard Rova show. Yeah. I, I saw some of the video from your stuff, uh, your documentary. And you sa I said you're going to uh, like eight different countries? Yes. That's, that's good. If, if I still have a half a brain after so, the next couple. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. What are you going to be doing in those eight countries? Uh, I'm going to be uh, meeting with shamans and stuff. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like a spiritual journey mm -hmm. mixed with very, very powerful hallucinogenics. Mind expanding. Uh, so you won't medicines. need those glasses then. Right? No, I don't need those glasses. <laughs> you won't even look like that, I don't no. think. No. <laughs> so, so imagine that. me getting through the jungle looking like this, ready to go meet the show. Yeah. I'm ready! All right. You're going to go in a sweat tent and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah. Now, did you guys know each other before you before uh, Trailer Park Boys? No, no. we met on during season eight. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then just said, hey, we got to do something together, right? No, yeah. that's not really no. how it happened, actually. No. <laughs> no. Uh, well, you yes. went on. I finished after season nine, and uh, Lee was still doing You still went through season, season 10. 10. And, uh, you know, uh, no, this just came about by uh, with Rob Graham, and, uh, and uh, he, he and Lee approached me, and, and uh, it sounded like a great idea. And it's going to be crazy, sounds like. Yeah, it made sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Now, a lot of people didn't realize the show was scripted. It, it was, I mean, it was a one of a kind, a lot of swearing, a lot of different things going on in there for a Canadian show with the strict rules in Canada. Things like that don't usually happen, right? That's but, right. But this became a huge success. But it was engineered. It, it, you thought it came off the cuff, but it was all engineered and scripted, right? They, they were scripted, but Clattenburg uh, in the first seven the first couple of seasons were, were very loosely scripted so you really had you you were able to do an awful lot so, so there was and a then, lot of filler <laughs> and then there was a lot of problems with with uh you know um plots and things like that so we stuck more to the script but you know mike was still very generous and allowed us to go into a room uh, together, or he'd pull the cast for whatever scene it was, and you know, Mike would, if he didn't like what he would, had, what was written, they just change it on the day. So there was an awful lot of ad libbing and, and things like that that happened during the show, that I think made it what it was. 
and you know some iconic lines have come out of that because oh, of it absolutely. yeah yeah so is that what we're going to see tonight is a lot of ad-libbing or or you've scripted it no, i've i've written i tour desires for about six years doing stand-up as the character and then just realized that you know it was more it, it just wasn't real it's very hard to be a cartoon up there and uh, try to you know comedy is all about being honest and uh, so it was very tough to find your, my own voice and uh, through that process I started writing stuff that I could move forward with without being Cyrus right so now I've got about uh, 25 minutes half hour of just stuff that um, is pretty close to the truth if it's not already the truth um, which is probably far enough out there anyway that people will probably think wow okay that's probably why I got the role of Cyrus <laughs> <laughs> now Lee you're also a singer lead singer in, in the band right uh, have you always I, sang? I was for years yeah uh, I had a really great band back home and I might be touring with them this summer now where's back home uh, Halifax yeah Nova Scotia they were, they were called they're called carry the lost but uh, of course I got busy with acting and I moved on to this and now I'm just kind of trying the to balance trip, the trip and balls tour yeah the trip and balls tour <laughs> and uh, my documentary <laughs> trip with Lee and I have some other projects uh, another show I'm working on with a friend couple friends back home are doing the pilot that's probably some of the funniest stuff I've done to date will be in that new show are so you gonna do that before you go on the tour though no no, no. this tour is actually this is our first night so. no no yeah, I mean the night? tour to the other countries where oh, you okay yeah, hopefully I just want to hope yeah. you're in the same frame of mind when you, you come back and, and do your yeah things. well well the, the <laughs> show itself is called, cells, maybe. <laughs> it's called alien cop and it's about this fellow that goes missing he's a and uh, he, they keep finding him out back at gay bars and stuff, naked. <laughs> and he's trying to convince the, everybody that he's aliens are real and he's not gay. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Now, the one character, of course, Mike Smith, right? And he was Bubbles. And everybody, I mean, he stands out right away, right? But when you take the guy off camera, he doesn't talk like that. He doesn't look like that. He doesn't move like that, right? Like, right. He, he was hilarious. But n he is a genius, isn't he? Yeah, Mike's a clever man. There's no doubt about that. He's very talented. Yeah. yeah. Easy to work with? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, who was yeah. the most difficult? I don't know that anybody. <laughs> I thought it was a really great team, and that's what made the show so successful. It's, yeah. You know, it, it's really, it's, I think when you're acting, it's all about teamwork. It's not about the individual at all. It's really about the production and, and what the task at hand. Yeah. You yeah. put all that other stuff aside in order to be able to get the job done. I don't really think that there's anything like that. I think that stuff usually happens behind the scenes, and, but certainly not in front of the camera when people are working. So, And you're giving a bunch of young bands tonight a chance to get up there and do their stuff. Local bands. Yes. Yeah, we're giving them a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they better be good, darn it. That's it. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. Be fun. Yeah. And, yes, and much sure. luck to it. You're going to be going all over Ontario. Yes. So, first tour. Guys, yeah. thanks for stopping by the Feet and Reach Show. Yeah. All the best. Thanks so much. Yeah, pleasure. Great to meet and, you. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen, thanks. you know what? <laughs> Seeing what you guys have done, only success for both of you. So, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much. And we will see you next time on the Pete and Reach Show. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, no. Easier. Right? Cheers, everyone. Super Bowl 2017. Starts here in St. Catherine. All right. Super. All right, guys. Alright man, pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Hope we'll see you around. So you got you got some other movies you're gonna be doing and stuff? I've uh, got a